You're watching WGN Morning News at 8. Can we just do a check of the weather? Yeah, we don't need another one. Just two seconds ago, let's hey, check in with Anna. Hey, Anna. I got more. Good morning, Larry and Robin. <laughs> um, I'm in one of these around towns that Larry's going to love and Robin's going to be like, are you kidding me? But bear with me. Right. <laughs> Some men get ties for Father's Day. Yep. Uh, for Father's Day. Some men are going to get a sexy portrait of their children's mother. Oh. Let's not put it that way. Let's say the spouse, the woman they love. I'm coming to you live from one of the many studios inside the photographer's house where you can come and take said picture in your sexiest pose. And you're asking, what are you doing for Mr. Bellaval this, this Father's right. Day? I'm shaving my legs. Yeah, that's oh, right. He's a lucky guy. <laughs> he's a lucky guy. But when we come back around town, we're going to show you what the whole... <laughs> it is a miracle because I take a break during winter. <laughs> Thank you, audio guy. Um, when we come back around town, we will show you what this bedhead boudoir is all about and how they make any woman of any size feel comfortable taking some lovely sepsy pictures of yourself for your man. I can't even pull it off. I, my, every time I try and do that, my husband laughs. <laughs> Lucky oh, guy. Nice. Give it to me, baby. More. Oh, God. Stop it, Larry. No, to you. His name is Steve. You freak. He's a freak, is right. More we'll coming more up. Coming up around town. Time out for around town. Anna's checking out a photography studio in Wilmette. Hey, Anna. Yes, I am. It's called Bedhead Boudoir, and it's where your baby mama can come and get you some really nice pictures for Father's Day. The cool thing is that they have Paula here, so it's a whole package deal. Besides the champagne, which I think this mommy is going to need for the kind of pictures we're going to take, you do the makeup too. Tell me about it. Absolutely. Um, we provide a flawless, very sexy uh, makeup go. application. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we did one side. Mm -hmm. It's subtle yet smoky. Um, the key is to never bring it up past the bra bone that uh, avoids the... Uh, Mm -hmm. over, over done luck. <laughs> exactly. And, my, and you want the moms, wives, girlfriends that come here to also prepare themselves for the photo shoot because it's <clears throat> in the boudoir. Yes. Google the translation. <laughs> and so what do you want them to get, you know, how do how can they get ready for that First day? of all, if you're going to do a boudoir shoot, you need to start drinking water right now. Um, drink tons of water. Or tequila. Sure. No, just water. That's going to dehydrate you. <laughs> And moisturize your face. When we come back, we'll show you more from Bedhead Boudoir. And we'll show you the cool pictures they can take here for any woman who wants to please their hubby or boyfriend or spouse that way. Back to you. Yeah, oh, brother. What's the matter? Nothing. It's just, it's great. There's, a, there's something for everyone, Larry. That's what makes America great. And Anna's around town in Wilmette. Hey, Anna. Good morning, Larry. I'm, a, I'm at a place called Bedhead Boudoir where they take some interesting pictures of women for their spouses, boyfriends, significant others. You can get an album, you can get an 8x10, you can get a 5x7, but for the traveler in your life, you can get this little accordion looking thingy. You know, your guy in the golf course. He may confuse the accordion with the kids with this one, and then you'll be the talk of the town. When we come back, we'll show you more of this cool idea and how it started from Bedhead Boudoir in Wilmette. Winnetka, Winnetka, let's not switch North Shore suburbs. No, we'll have more coming up around town. Anna's checking out a photography studio in Wilmette. Hey, Anna. It is actually inside the home of Angela Keefe, who is behind me taking these boudoir bedhead, boudoir pictures. It's called Bedhead Boudoir. And Angela has a really cool story of how she started. She's taking pictures of Josie, who's a mom of two, and she's getting these for her husband. So, Angela, how did you start all this? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Anna. <laughs> so tell me how you started this uh, bedhead boudoir. 
Well, a few years ago, I was shooting children, family, baby pictures, which is very cute uh -huh. and everything, but I didn't feel that that was my passion. Mm -hmm. um, I actually did have a few women ask me, do you do anything else? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what do you mean exactly? Mm -hmm. And they told me, well, they wanted some boudoir pictures. So actually, I had a girlfriend in town from Rhode Island mm -hmm. at the Fairmont. We had this huge suite, got four girlfriends together, and and brought lighting, pillows, and a couple cameras. And this is the setup you have now in your home. Why did you decide to do it in your house? People, why? Well, actually, I only have one child, and we have six bedrooms and five bathrooms. Don't be a show off. So we hey, have you were one saying, room. But Angela, you were saying that people feel more comfortable in this setup because, it, I mean, Josie's a professional model. You can continue taking some pictures as we talk, but yes. but you, but this is for a regular woman. Absolutely, women of all shapes, sizes, all backgrounds, absolutely. All right, go ahead and take some pictures. Uh, th these ones, as I said, are from Josie, and this is Paula. Paula works, well, she has her own makeup company, right? Yep. Angela? Yes, she has City Lights Makeup Artistry. Mm -hmm. We have an exclusive contract with her company. So she comes in, does touch-ups, and really does your makeup. What does the package of photography include? Well, actually what Paula does is she has them come without any makeup on, mm -hmm. hair wash the night before, mm -hmm. and then she will glam them up. And you bring your own lingerie. You do bring your own lingerie because each woman feels sexy in different levels of lingerie. Whether it is something from La Perla, mm -hmm. very scantily clad, or Your grandma panties that you kind of favor because you had two <laughs> kids and that's what covers you the best. Go ahead and take more pictures of Josie uh, because I have to leave Larry with this awesome picture of Josie and uh, when we come back we will show you more. Paula, get out of the way. They want to see Josie. She's the one that's on the bed half naked. We'll show you more from <laughs> Better boudoir coming up around town. Now I'm getting aggressive. I'm sorry. Um, back to you. Time for around town. Hey, Anna. Here we go. Stand by, Mayor. Good morning, Larry, Rob, and I'm at Bedhead Boudoir, where they take really cool pictures for the significant other in your life. Uh, you can bring your own outfits, which I think, Angela, is it's really cool because you're using your own stuff. What do you recommend in terms of looks? Well, I definitely recommend a variety of looks. Mm -hmm. Do not bring two black bras and two black panties. Mm -hmm. Bring a corset. Bring a baby doll. If you bring don't know what a corset is... It's like a bustier. This would be a corset. Absolutely. You can bring one piece. You can bring two pieces. If you're a little more modest, you can wear a robe on top or a jacket. A robe, a uh, fur coat jacket, mm -hmm. uh, anywhere, something maybe possibly short, off the shoulder. Every woman has a different feel of what they feel is sexy. Angela, can you edit these and airbrush them? Absolutely. Okay, that's yes. what I need to do. It's you, hear. only better. Yes! That's what I love. When we come back, we will show you the great things they can do with makeup here, and uh, we will show you more of the awesome work that Angela does here at Bedhead Boudoir in Winneka. Back to you. 940, let's check in with Anna in Winneka. Hey, Anna. Hey, good morning. I'm at a place called Bedhead Boudoir where they take lovely pictures of ladies in the bedroom for their spouses, lovers, uh, boyfriends, you name it. And we took we took care of Victoria. Paula did earlier. You know what I love, Paula? She looks like herself. I like that. What did you do for this kind of portrait? Yes, we actually just did a light smoky eye using a brown eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And then we take the black eyeliner and we make sure that we smudge it up. That way you don't have a complete black thick line there. So and everything it's yeah. very soft. And I really love that she's in a man's shirt. Yes. <laughs> uh, this that would be her. my shot. All covered up with Absolutely. a chair covering everything else. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it's also wonderful if she's standing in front of the window. You get a nice silhouette through the white. That is really, really lovely. And that would make any woman, I think, feel comfortable. That whole, exactly. you don't have to be showing everything to look sexy. Yeah, and every man would love to see his hot woman in his shirt. Like Victoria keeps laughing, like, what else am I supposed to do here? <laughs> let's just let's just toss it back to Larry and Robin. When we come back, we will sure show you more of how it all works here at Bedhead Boudoir in Winneka. Back to you. Time now for Ron Tom. Anna's in Winneka taking sexy pictures. Hey, Anna. No, I'm not taking the sexy pictures. No, no, no. That's where I draw the line. I am watching other people take sexy pictures, other mommies like me. 
but with a lot more courage. Uh, this is Angela Keefe's uh, business. It's called Bedhead Boudoir. And you take lovely pictures of regular women like you and I that Absolutely. want want to have the special gift for their Husband, the Husbands, man in their life. Others, absolutely. All right, so we're looking at Josie. Let's just a disclaimer. She may be a mama too, but she's a hot mama too because she is a model. So don't get a complex back at home. This is what she does for a living. But you, we have a sample of the gorgeous pictures that Angela can take. So how much input does the client have in these pictures? Like, do they come with an idea or they do you? They do, bring they do. Actually, I do also encourage ladies to look on either Pinterest, Victoria's Secret, anywhere for what I call inspiration poses, because it's not gonna look the same, but it is an inspiration pose and something that you may want to incorporate in your album. Angela, do you think these are the kinds of pictures that people are putting up like in their home? Or this is more like a hidden thing under the bed? Typically it is hidden, but mm -hmm. what lots of ladies do like to do is black and white classy canvases in a mm -hmm. master bathroom to oh. where it may not be showing their face, but silhouettes and mm -hmm. turned away. And mm -hmm. it's a very classy thing to say, hey, you don't know that it's me, but it is me. This wasn't Angela's idea. This was actually a friend of yours. You were taking pictures of kids yes. before. And she's like, do you think you could do this? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. And this is that's how this evolved. I've done great at this. This is my passion, making women feel so sexy and confident. You were saying that also it empowers them too. Absolutely. I've had so many uh, moms that they weren't sure if they could feel sexy again. Mm -hmm. And then after they have their hair and makeup done by Paula from mm -hmm. City Lights Makeup Artistry, mm -hmm. that they said, oh my gosh, I feel like a new woman again. Awesome. Awesome. So listen, maybe not Father's Day because it may be kind of weird with the kids around, but for Valentine's and anniversary, that kind of thing, this could be a good idea. I would take a selfie looking just like this. This is how I look my best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, God. Uh, putting the ass in class. Robin, Thank you, Anna. I'm down at some point today. Oh, man. Wait, I kind of felt like we shouldn't have been showing half of that. How right? do you follow that? Right. My goodness. Wake's breathing into a paper bag over here. <laughs>